Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mech, and today Suzuki have launched their MotoGP Contender for 2022. Now, Johan Mir, who was obviously the 2020 World Champion, has definitely got the talent to bring it to Fabio Quattrero, Marc Marquez, and the gang, but bike had seemed to let him down in 2021. Now, hopefully this year, the bike will give him exactly what he needs uh, to go fight and hunt for those World Championships. Alex Rins, on the other hand, in my opinion, he is probably fighting this year, has to deliver this year to keep his job. He was very, very inconsistent last year. Yes, the bike wasn't the best bike on the grid. I will absolutely agree on that. But again, I just don't think he delivered on what he needed to deliver on last year. So this year, in my opinion, is a big year for him. The bike, well, the bike, in my opinion, looks absolutely amazing. The pictures that I've seen so far of it, uh, Gintoli, you know, on the bike in the test did look quite well. I know he was averaged like 1.5, 1.6 seconds off. But look, that's not so bad, you know, that's that's on the dance floor, in my opinion. You know, he's far better fettle than uh, Yamaha were with three seconds off. So it is going to be interesting to see. I think it's going to be definitely a big year for Mir. Uh, to try and go and fight for them because I think if the bike is not there or if the bike is not good this year and Honda is able to get that bike I really do genuinely believe Mir will go to Honda um, which is bad news for Paula Spagaro I don't think they're going to get rid of Merc Mercedes um, but I do think you know um, Suzuki needs to deliver for him but then I also think Rins needs to deliver for Suzuki I'd love to know your thoughts and what you think of the bike. I think the blue and the silver um, does look amazing. It does stand out. For some reason, it's just one of my favorite bikes color-wise on the grid. Um, but I'm sure uh, other people will have different opinions. So uh, let me know your thoughts and in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Who is excited for testing? I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.